Hello and welcome back to Tackle Box. We ended the previous video with this mysterious magic bar date business. So this is what we call a twig filter. And a twig filter essentially is a function from twig that is run on this piece of data. So right now, when we look at what we have here, we're getting the post date out of the post object. And if we reference our dump over here, we can see, well, I guess we could get display date instead of post date, that would work too. But we're gonna use this example of filters. So if we go find post date, post modified, let's do this. Post date, okay, there we go. Post date, so that's what we're getting. And we want to change the format of that. So this date filter automatically runs a function that adjusts the format of this date. So in, in programming in general, you have something called a date object. So date is not just a string. It's a, I mean, it is a string, but it's a meaningful string. And so a server and a programming language knows how to read this and how to adjust the format of the date. So I could say July 7th, I can print out July 7th, 2015 instead of this long string. I could also print out July if I wanted to. I could print out only 2015 if I wanted to. I can decide however I want to display this date. And it's a little bit hidden in terms of what to look up to find this, but I'm going to tell you what it is. So we're gonna look into PHP date formatting. PHP date, PHP date format, perfect. Okay, uh, local time, date. Yeah, this is what we want. Okay, so these weird little letters, somebody, who knows who, decided, well, W makes sense. Z for day of the year, I don't know why that means that, but so this PHP date manual will tell you what all of these months mean. Or excuse me, not months, but these uh, abbreviations. So G means a 12 hour format, so you're gonna get one through 12. If you want 24 hour format, it's capital G. And we can add these letters into a parameter for the date filter. So let's look that up too. Twig date, sounds good to me. So let's check this out. And okay, cool. So oddly enough, these little letters are gonna go inside of a string. So PHP kind of smartly, smartly parses those. And this is really cool too, because you can check what the date is and get the current date with this now filter. A little bit strange, but this is a really good example for what we are doing. So post.publish at, we can say this is post underscore date for us. And then we have a date filter. And inside of that, this is choosing some letters from here, deciding what to display. So let's say we want to do G. So let's, I'm gonna move some screens around here. Let's make this baby a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna use spectacle, which I hope everybody installed from the essentials section. So we use spectacle to do a little split screen action here. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Oops. Okay, nice responsive website, PHP. Lowercase g. So let's do, we're gonna put a, parentheses in here and some quotes and then lowercase g so that's going to be our time and then I believe we also need minutes so we're going to do i for minutes with leading zeros that looks good and then we'll do colon and then i so this should give us only the time this was published and ta-da, so this was published at 10.57. That's pretty cool. And then now if we wanna do July or something and put our month out there, then we can find month. So numeric representation, uh, short representation looks good to me. Let's do an M comma and maybe put a day in here. Okay, oh, Monday, definitely want the day of the week. So let's see, D. So now this is gonna say Monday, July, and the time, or Tuesday. Tuesday, July, and the time. So you can play around with that if you like, or apparently you can do display date like this and get the default WordPress date. So if we try that, hopefully that'll work. And save, refresh, and very nice. So 
that's probably the simplest way to do it. But hopefully this gives you a little bit of an idea of how filters work and how the date functions work. So that's something you might come back to in your uh, development career is this idea of using these little letters to represent certain formats of the date.